Hey, Boss Dragon Metals here. Today I'll be making assorted 24 inch necklaces, adjustable ones. So she's the adjustable component that I will be adding that extra inch and some danglies. There's all the chain that I will be using. That's pre made chain, but I still have to cut it. It's Rolo chain inch style. It's quite nice stuff, pretty basic. But I will be adding non basic stuff to it. Some of those copper pendulums and rings that I made previously. And some shiny flowery beads. They're made of acrylic. So they're very nice sort of clear purple material. And some clasps to go with them all. These all have to be cut first. So. Some jewellery assemblage for once. Go with the last video I posted. Post some interesting stuff soon. Not just assemblies, things. So measure this out using a tape measure. Well, that's a weird sound. Ooh, it's tricky. Need a longer cabinet, I think. There we go. No, it's not that tricky. Just measuring it out here, as you can see. So I want to cut it by there. Cutting is generally the best option as all of these rings are extremely well sealed. So we've got a 24 inch chain there and I need another four of them. So chain cutting. Got eight and a half meters here as I showed. So plenty of material to work with. Kind of dull today. The sun has left us. That happens. Oh, it's stuck to me. So here we go again. Please to have a good pair of clippers, obviously. Sharp ones. Sharper the better. Cobbles, a couple more now. Move these aside actually. So I got more to cut, another three. Well, eight and a half meters ain't as much as it seems. I'll probably sell some of these, keep some of these like I usually do. I'm going to do a few more videos, nice little burst before uh, I move on to something else. Or a project on the go, an interesting project. Should be glowy, and very shiny and golden. So, no guesses, not allowed to guess. I have to wait. But, there will be some very nice videos up and coming. Not just shiny jewelry assemblages. I'll probably be doing the whole shebang again. Making some jewelry from scratch, from metal swerf or shot or whatever you want to call it. I'll be scratch building which will require extremely high temperatures and new tools which I have but I'm working up to that so bear with me next I'm also going to be making a pendant which will be a interesting thing as it will be made of that pure tin sheet that I poured a long time ago this 
What will I be making out of that? Well, a pendant, but what kind? You'll have to wait and see. Big, nice tin sheet. Not as much on there as you would think. Chain has actually got a little bit of weight to it. Pretty sure it's stainless steel plated with gold, thickly. It's still quite nice material. I'd say it was higher carrot gold plate. It was, uh, appears quite lustrous and shiny. Very nice material. Put that aside. All chains cut. So now we need to attach all these things. Split rings there. Let's do the adjusting things first. Should be reason reasonably easy to open. Probably be tricky threading them through these tiny holes. Nope, not so much. Cool. That will also be where these clasps are going. So, don't know why I've got these little ones. May attach them to them. I'm not sure yet. They should be on the other side. Daft. Early morning for me. Still quite early. So that will be attached to here. And you've got that extra length there just in case. Very, very nice chain, but I need to make another five of them. So, shouldn't take too long, all the chains being cut. <clears throat> Bit of a dry mouth. I'm talking. And probably need a drink. That's a as I said, I was up early. It's easy. Do I make jewelry every single day? Yes. I do. If I don't make jewelry, I make the findings or the components of jewelry, but I don't really stop. I don't really have days off, things like that. Leave that to people who don't work like me. So they're coming along quite nicely. There's a bit of cut chain there. Very nice material this Rolo chain. Quite weighty. The weight to it. More adjusters. These ones I made myself. Yeah, these two are actually pre made. Not by me, but this one is. Those are the next couple. Plenty of videos on making split rings and such. So go check them out. Will help if you are doing some basic jewelry making of your own. Or just want to have some fun. Shiny fun. And make something at the same time. Beats sitting there.
Okay, three done, two to go. Angle very slightly. <coughs> oh, my stomach. Making noises. Definitely need to eat today. <laughs> Although, as I said, I haven't long woke up. So. My body still isn't fully awake. Well, I am, obviously. But my body doesn't seem to be. Weird all that happens. Stupid human design. Where's my beak? Humans should have beaks. They don't break. They grow back. Unlike, you know, teeth. Beaks are uh, much more advanced. But then imagine beaked humans, that would be very, very strange. <laughs> but probably quite funny. Uh, not too unpleasant, I guess. Last piece. And then we'll put the nice pendants upon them. Bit of a mass production video, this I guess. Same as the last one, except that was with water weave silver chain. This is with gold chain. Rolo, not water weave. So, two different types of chain assemblies. Except these are adjustable, the others weren't adjustable. But they were also slightly longer, I think. By a few inches. They were 28 inch. These are 24 inches. 18 is quite short in my experience, so I tend to cut them as 24 inch bracelets, uh, necklaces. All chains with the adjustable components done with an extra inch or so upon them, as you can see. So let's get the pendants on now. Let's do these ring ones first with these flowery things. That would be why I kept these little tiny split rings. Ah, there's ones already on them. So these go on the chain thing. Dang it. Fair enough. It seems to have planned this in a more awakened state. That's handy. Well, that's quite nice. Look at that. <laughs> so flip one of these chains get that upon there see if I've got any bigger split rings should have uh, ooh. shiny things so there's a few bigger ones in here. I'd rather the larger ones, that way the pendants will be free to move around. The pendulums already have bits. So that'll do. Because these split rings are very small. Look at them. Minuscule. A couple of millimeter split rings. Um, tiny, tiny things there. So, bigger ones. 
so it'll enable them to move more freely up and down the nice necklace. There we go. That's actually really quite nice. It's much better than I th much much nicer than I thought. Look at that. That little bead. Very, very uh, naturey, I'd say. Bit goody for my taste. The pendulum ones will probably suit me more. My sight, anyway. But I'm sure a girl would like one of them ones. One of these flowery ring ones. Because they're quite pretty. One day I will find a reason to have a break from doing these things. But that's not today. <laughs> Besides, doing constant work helps me keep my mind off other things. Human things. <laughs> Human issues. I mean, right, two down. Well, it's a lovely colour that purple. I have to take some nice thumbnail pictures of these. I should think. I'm gonna put these two on the pendulums, which means I'm gonna need more split rings, doesn't it? Damn it. Running low on split rings. Probably because I've been not using these sort of components, I've been using my own handmade components. Which has meant that I'm running kind of low on findings. I've got a few, but not as many as I used to use. As I've filled my shelf with findings that I've made split rings and such. And so I make a lot of uh, copper findings, as you can see. Same routine. Ooh, it smells a little bit metally. This metal. There you go. The next chain done. Pendulums now. I like the pendulum ones, personally. They're spiky, they're weighty, and they look quite nice. What's not to like? <laughs> also had those purple flowery things to them. I made these beads, they're actually separate things. Not their intended function, like pretty much everything that I make or repurpose with uh, exceptional improvisational skills. The pin fell out of my pendulum. And there's the pendulum one. Wow, that's very, very pretty indeed. Look at that. That's really. Pretty. Love the colour, the purple contrast with the copper. 
definitely use some of these beads again, I should think. Look at them. Very pretty colour on them. Especially in this lighting. Not so sunny lighting. Last bead and necklace. And we'll have a quick examination of the video finishes. So I've cut the chains, added the adjusters, measured them out, added the clasps, added the pendants, which I also constructed and made it some point. So there they all are. Very pretty. Ooh, wow, my phone is weirdly hot. So little examination upon all them, look at that. Love them purple flowery bead things. Actually, really reflective. And these ring pendants also. To take some nice thumbnail images of all these. Very nice in the hand, anyway. Look at that. Very pretty. Got all of them too, so. Probably sell a few of them, as I said. I'll keep a few also. A nice Rolo chain, and there's all the adjusters there. On the end. The little dangly adjusting things. I'm not sure what to call them. Droplets, I guess. Probably some sort of other term I could use. Anyway, lots and lots of nice necklaces. Sparklies, pendants. Well, till next time.